Hello, viewers. Hello, Zimbabwe. Mamukasi, mamukasi, mamukasi. Very good morning. Welcome to Africa and Beyond Television Network, where we give you the latest trending news in the nation of Zimbabwe, Africa, and beyond. Our aim is to make sure that we appraise you about what is happening in the political cycles, about what is really, really affecting us politically, economically, socially. That is our main aim, and um, we need to 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 get into this story, which um. Professor Jonathan Moon uh, has been trying to advise the Citizens Coalition for Change. And we want to, to go and check the validity of his uh, advice. And um, we are going to, to use what he said versus the response he got from Advocate Mahere. And then we want to ascertain whether he does have any right to be lecturing the opposition in the nation of Zimbabwe. So I'm going to, to, to put um, Professor Jonathan Moyo's statement first, uh, right on the scroll bar. So you, you can check it on the scroll bar, it will be scrolling. So this is what Jonathan Moyo said. He said, uh, please answer anyone. Is a brand new party formed in January 2022 with no link to any current or past political party without having held a founding ideology, uh, a founding Congress with no ideology, with no constitution and with no structures. How can, on what basis uh, does CCC claim anyone is its members? So we need to respond to, 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 to that issue. If you can check on the scroll bar, that is where the, the statement from Professor Jonathan Moyo is. And um, um, I'm going to also put uh, Advocate Mayer's response in a, in a short while so that we understand what he uh, uh, Does Professor Jonathan Moyo have any say in the opposition cycles? Or can we trust Professor Jonathan Moyo? Can we rely on whatever uh, or on anything? Um, he says, because it is very important for us to, to, to go to 2023 elections with, um, with a plan to win the elections, not with a plan to please other people. So first and foremost, before um, we go any further, let me put the response in the scroll bar so you can check as well. This is the response from Advocate Mahere. So, that is very important to understand uh, that response. That is very, 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 very important to understand that a response because that is shaping how our people should think, how our people should, should be focused on, what they should be focused on. So according to Advocate Nelson Jamisa, there is no need for CCC to, 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 to expose any of its plans to anybody. They are not answerable to anybody, especially to those who, who are from Zanupi. CCC is not answerable. So Professor Jonathan Moyo cannot be leading us or misleading us, uh, trying to push us into, into believing that uh, having structures is a priority. Why? It, looking at what happened to more Blessing Ali, you can actually see that um, our members are not so safe in the nation of Zimbabwe because the people who are trying to defend the people, they got arrested. That is uh, Job Sikala. That is uh, Godfrey Stone. They got arrested. The professor is, does not care or is silent about that. All he cares about is to say establish structures. And the question is to whose benefit? Who is going to benefit? from those structures, if we are to expose structures, who is going to benefit? Probably it is Zanupia, because they will send their influential people, they will come and infiltrate, and they will begin to have control and to cause chaos. And the issue is that we don't want to have chaos as we go to 2023 elections. We don't want to repeat what happened in 2018. So. You can actually see that uh, there are people who feel that they are entitled to this movement, the change. There are people who feel that 
the, the, the always to have control. And that is the reason why President Nelson Chamisa is trying to say we cannot establish structures at this juncture. Why? If we do so, those, those same people who always feel entitled, they will rush, they will come and occupy spaces. I want to give an uh, example. People like JP Jabun, people like um, uh, that guy who is an UPF, they rushed to, 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 to come and, uh, and occupy spaces or in positions in the MDC alliance. That is the problem we, we, we had in 2018. There are people who feel that they are more important than others and they will rush, they will come and occupy spaces. So it is very important for the party leadership to then work on identifying proper candidates for 2023 elections. And those candidates are not going to be coming from the influential people who will come and join structures. They will be coming from the citizens themselves. So this team we have does know what they are doing because they are on the ground. They know people who are working, they know people who are not working. And they are going to use those people who are working. So if you need to be part of, of change, you don't need to, to, to go after structures. You need to be on the ground. You need to be visible, number one. You need to be working for the party, number two. You need to be working with the people in your respective constituency, in your respective ward, number three. Those are the key issues for you to be part of the team which is going to contest in 2023. Why? If you are not working today, how are you expecting to, to, to be part of that vehicle? How are you going to influence change? That is the question. But probably Professor Jonathan Moy doesn't have the answer. Why? Because uh, what they are concerned about are structures. And if it is very easy for you to have structures in Zimbabwe, if the political uh, landscape is so easy to such an extent, why is it Professor Jonathan Moy cannot come back to Zimbabwe? He does have his properties in Zimbabwe. He does have his farms in Zimbabwe. He's failing to utilize his farm. He's failing to, to, to be at his property. Why? Because he is hiding also. He does know very well that his NPF is not a very easy a machinery to deal with. That is why he, he fled Zimbabwe in 2017. And up to this day, he is in exile. So as much as we respect Professor Jonathan Moore, you need to remember that uh, some of the laws which are being used today, he was one of the champions of those laws. He was one of the people who were spearheading for those laws to be ex existing. And those same laws are now being used against the citizens at this juncture. So uh, Elisha Mapu was the morning leader, morning, 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 um, Elisha. Uh, never, Nyamonuna, morning, morning, say thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you very much for your update every time, my man. We need to, 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 to be updating each other, we need to be speaking, we need, be, we need to be talking so that uh, uh, when we get to 2023, we'll be knowing what we need to do as a people. So, I'm going to put back the the, 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 the first issue which was raised by Professor Jonathan Moyo here. So, um, uh, if you check on the scrolling bar, that is the, the, the issue which Professor Jonathan Moyo raised. And uh, we want to be guided by that uh, issue to see whether uh, Professor Jonathan Moyo can say anything in the politics of Zimbabwe at this juncture and to see if we can take him seriously. Because the problem is that if we are to have Sevia Kasukweri as the president of ZANU-PF today, Professor Jonathan Moore, Walter Mzembe, and other comrades, they will definitely come back. That is a fact. And when they come back at that moment or at that juncture, are they going to accept CCC? Are they going to say, and also in Chinese, you have been working on the ground leaders. We are giving you an opportunity to lead Zimbabwe. Are they going to do that? 
Okay, if we are to 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 to, to have Sylvia Kasukwere as the president of ZANU PF, and we go to to 2023 as uh, him as Kasukwere as the as the presidential candidate, are we uh, going to see? Um, are we going to see if they are defeated by CCC? Are we going to see the, the, them handing over power to Nelson Chamisa? Because remember, Sevia Kasukwere was was removed from power a few months. He was chased away from ZPF a few months from power. A few months from power, he was chased away from ZPF. So if he comes back to ZANU-PF, it will lead ZANU-PF before 2023. Are we going to see Professor Jonathan Moyo, Sevye Kasukwere, Patrick Joao, Tamzembe? Are we going to see them if they are defeated? Are we going to see them relinquishing power to, 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 to Nelson Chamisa? Are we going to see them allowing Nelson Chamisa to lead? This will be the second time. The first time in 2017, he lost power. And 2023 will be the second time losing power Wachobata. And that raises a very important issue to say, can they be trusted? Which means this team is trying to, 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 to ride on Nelson Chamisa because he is home, he is in Zimbabwe, he does have direct control of the political space. When you are on the ground, when you're in Zimbabwe, you have more influence than those who are abroad. So they are trying to use Nelson Chamisa so as to control him and to suit their own narrative. So that their narrative uh, will be established so that what they want will be done. And this is what we are against of. We are saying we, have, we are tired of Zanupia, that is number one. We are tired of people who want to continue riding on the back of Zanupia. Why do I say so? Years after 2017, they have not formed a new political party of their own. They still claim to be part of ZANU-PF. They still claim that due process was not taken for them to be removed from ZANU-PF. And these are the same people who are, the same people who are struggling to, to, to come back to, to ZANU-PF are the same people who are trying to lecture us. They are talking about a brand new party, which... Uh, got 19 parliamentary seats out of 26 seats. 19. In just a month, they, we, we, we got 19 seats. 19 seats in just a month. What if we, 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 we continue mobilizing up to 2023? How many seats are we going to get? So the issue is that um, they are trying to divert the issue is not on structures. It's not on structures. The issue is on strategy on how to remove ZANU-PF. Because people know who their leaders are. People know who they want to vote for. People love Nelson Chamisa. And people who follow the team in India established one Nelson Chamisa. That is what is going to happen. People know Nelson Chamisa. People love Nelson Chamisa and people trust and believe in Nelson Chamisa. So they are going to follow any structure. Yeah, he's going to Nelson Chamisa in the leadership. Could uh, uh, pa, 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 parliamentary elections, pa, pa, council elections, they will follow those people. So knowing that fully well, our people are not daft. Our people are not useless. They know what they are doing. Which means they will not use any book or any template to vote for Nelson Chamisa. They will simply get into the ballot. They will put an X on Nelson Chamisa. They will simply get into the ballot box. They will put an X on the councillor of Nelson Chamisa and on the MP of Nelson Chamisa. What we need to solve is to do away with the entitled people. Anengari Kwarare always. Ozo Manya, Ikezunezi Tim G40 is Irim Diaspora. Vani ngwa chida uzo manya kana ma election za Afrika. Vaku manya woti ndini jepi jabunu. Ndirukuda kukwikuiza kuno kubikita. Anu mrupa wa? We want to do away with, with such issues. In 2018, we had a problem where in Bikita we lost a seat because there was Mozingwa, there was Ngarifume. Two people 
from the, the from the same alliance. Mudzingwa was there, Ngarivumi was there. And Mudzingwa was popular. And Mudzingwa was hard working and loved by the people. But Comrade Ngarivumi failed to, 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 to give way to, to, to Mudzingwa. And Senate, uh, uh, Senator Douglas Mondora, who was the SG by then, worked with, 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 the, the, with the district the distractors and allowed to, 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 to us to, to have double candidates. That is the reason why President Nusun Chamisa is resolved to say, going forward, I am going to make sure that I sign those papers so that we eliminate the issue to do with double candidates. So that issue has been solved. The issue to do with the trust, you no longer know who is on your side and who is not on your side. And because of that, you need to employ strategies to, to, to make sure that you protect the people's hope, you protect what the people want. So Advocate Nelson Chamisa, what he is doing is a very, very, very coming from an informative uh, position. He does know what is happening on the ground and he does know how to solve these issues. He does know how to, to counter these issues. So Congress cannot be determined by the Jonathan Moore because MDC had several Congresses, several Congresses, but they failed to get into power for how many years? In 2018, MDC had structures, had Congresses, had very powerful people. They failed to, to, to take over power. Why? The issue is not about having a Congress. The issue is about having a strategy which is going to give you power. The issue at hand is not about winning, a, winning an election. The issue at hand is about taking power, taking state power. Because at this moment, ZANPF has failed. Everybody has accepted, even ZANPF people, they've accepted that their own leaders have failed. And there's no probability or prospect to, to say they will resurrect this economy before 2023. There's no hope for that. Nelson Chamisa has won this election already. What is important and what is needed is to secure uh, the, the, the 2023 election at this juncture. Is to make sure that we get into power, we get into state house. That is what is very important. So for you to get to status, you need a strategy. You need to plan very well. You need to know what to do next, how to do it. And that does not need um, my, 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 my structures. That does not need my structures. So I'm going to take a few questions, then we'll continue. are you confident for 2023, say that is Ariel K. Marufu? Yes, personally, I'm confi confident about 2023. The electoral issue, is, uh, is, CCC is going to win. Advocate Nusun Chamisa is going to win. The MPs and the councillors are going to win. This is, I'm talking this from an informative position. I have been in the rural areas. I hail from the rural areas. I have been in the rural areas for a very long time. And I'm seeing the temperatures in the rural areas. I'm seeing people in the rural areas, young people in the rural areas. Honestly, I've spoken to a lot of young people in the rural areas. They are asking me one question. Where is Nelson Chamisa? They are not asking about anything else. Where is Nelson Chamisa? We want Nelson Chamisa here. That is what they are asking. That is what they are demanding for. They are not demanding for any structures. Why? They told me point blank to say, guys, we are tired of you. You come here, you lie to us. We want Nelson Chamisa to come and address us. Not us. They don't even care about us. They don't even care about what you say. They say what you have said, yes, we agree with you. That is what we see on WhatsApp every day. That is what we see on Facebook every day. We want Nelson Chamisa here. That is their demand. Only Nelson Chamisa, who is the person we are going to, 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 to listen to. These are the young people I've seen in the rural areas. Why they've come to terms with poverty, they've come to terms with bad governance, they've come to terms with 
how ZANU-PF is running everything. So they are now agree that only Nelson Chamisa is their hope and they are demanding to see Nelson Chamisa. And that is what the president is doing. He is working to make sure that he meets everybody and everyone. But for him to do that, there's need to have funds. You need to have enough funds for mobilization. You need to, 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 to have enough security so that when he travels, he knows that he's safe. You need to have point of calls in each and every place. And those people, those key point of calls are very important for him. And he is establishing those point of calls. So ZANU-PF, what ZANU-PF is trying to achieve is to say, expose those point of calls to us. Tell us, quit when you come, you are working with Ningina, 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 Ningi. Then you attack them, you intimidate them. That is their agenda. And no, Son is not is saying, no, I'm not going to do that. I will just surprise you. I will just come and I'll just do my job. So we have people who are working underground. So those are the people who are being asked, where is Nelson Chamisa? And they will answer and say, here is Nelson Chamisa. And the people will flock to see Nelson Chamisa on that day. So for, for that issue of 2023, I'm 100% confident, uh, more than 100% confident. I know what I'm talking about. I know that change has come, change is coming. The time is now. Only what we need to do is to put a, a strategy to make sure that we secure state power. Nelson Chamisa needs to establish connections within the military, needs to establish connections within ZEC, needs to establish connections within the police, the CIO, and that is what he is doing. He is clear about that. He is clear that he has established those connections. And with those connections in place, it means we have won the election. It means we must be confident. Everybody must be confident. So a lot of people will come and ask, why is it that you say you, you, we, we have secured uh, in ZEC, in the military, and everywhere else? The reason why I say so is because only the leaders of ZEC are pro Emerson Munangawa. The rest, the majority of the workers for ZEC, I once attended a, 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 a political um issue meeting yeah yeah kanga it like a political parties addressing uh, uh, asking zek uh, addressing uh, zek chi 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 and they asked the questions there are questions where at a provincial level they were not able to answer why they were not able to answer them they said we fear for our safety we cannot answer you these questions but honestly we know that you are correct. We know that your position is the correct position. And you as politicians, you need to put measures to make sure that you protect yourselves. You protect the vote. So this issue of confidence, I am confident. This is the reason why we are coming here 24-7. This is the reason why we have decided not to flee away from Zimbabwe. We are not going to run away from Zimbabwe. We are going to, 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 to continue coming here live from Zimbabwe. And if anything happens, it happens because we are pursuing change. That is the, 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 the truth. We are here and we are not fearful. We are here because we know that if we get arrested, we'll be arrested for a few months and the change will definitely come and we'll get out of prison. Justice will be set. So we are here because we know that um, this is not going to take long, only a few months from now. And I'm prepared even to go to jail for the next few months before an election. Why? I know very sure that a new Zimbabwe is coming. So we need to work for that a new Zimbabwe. And Vanapa, uh, but my brother, the issue is not the person who casts the vote, but who counts the vote. Yes, this is the reason why I, I, I am saying what Professor Jonathan Moyo is saying about structures, about um, a Congress, about ideology, about constitution, that does not work at this moment. Why? Is because uh, structures are not going to count the election, uh, the, 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 the ballots. Structures are not going to 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 
to to do anything after uh, after the elections. Structures are not going to deal with sec. The ideology is not going to deal with the military. The ideology is not going to deal with the ZEC or in the police or any anybody else or with the courts. The Congress itself is not going to solve anything. What we need is to make sure that how do we win the election? First and foremost is you and me registering to vote. That is point number one. You must register to vote. You must go and cast the ballot. Your vote, you have to go and cast it. Why do I say so? Pese pa urwenda kuno vota, you make sure kuti zitara kura kanzelewa. And it will go now. That's the method they use. At every polling station, they cancel your vote, mu, 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 voter registration in Girabo, mu, mu, voters rurabo. They cancel your name to show that you have voted. Which means, 2023 is going to be different. Patrick will cast our votes. Iwewe waenda wa no voter. You have your voter registration slip. That is evidence number one. Number two, pakanzele wakutu wa voter iwewe. It means, sisu kanata kuiruwa petition yedu. We can make my petitions constituents by constituents. MP by MP. Delivering a petition ku 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 court. Kutoroti isisu taka 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 votera no son chamis. We want the presidential election to be reviewed. Taka votera no son chamisa, and we have one who can votera no son chamisa. And the canal or MP and support Monjimbo. You will go and present the facts to the court to any court in the land. You can go and present the facts to any court. So, but you cannot just now register to vote. So, so you have to touch it. We cannot go and demand the residue. This time around, we at end up with my V11 and everything else. We want to see the residue. We will take the residue. We will take your voter registration slip and we will take the voter soror. Per every polling station. Saka, the voters soror. Kashandiswa per polling station. The residue that is my ballot, the, 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 the ballot that take a caster and your voter registration slip. Those that need to get Saka, cancel by cancel, and then Gaka Mira Nevan Vaki and Mapi Paki. And move on. Cancel by cancel, Wakamira Nevan Vaku, Nemapi Paku. People are going to write affidavits to defend their own thing. So you are going to see that this going, is going to be very, very interesting because. The issue to do with um, vo vote casting, we, as I always say, one very kuma lower ranks is like avachada zano, avachada this kind of life because from papinda mnangabo, akuna muna kaka kwanza kuva kaimba kuva naruzek, akuna muna kaka kwanza kutenga mota, akuna muna kaka kwanza kwe argu kwanza kwe ndi savana kuchikoro they are struggling to this day. Argu chaza kwe ndi savana wako kuma boarding, wana argu zingwa kuma boarding. And we are living with them each and every time, and they are confirming that indeed they no longer want this system. Which means it is going to be only Priscilla Chigumba. The people at the um, headquarters, the ZEC, these are the only people who are going to be uh, working with Emerson Mnangawa. And the rest will be working with the citizens. So how can we fail to handle such a person of a, a group of a, of few people? So basically, I believe um, uh, that uh, there is nothing which, going, which is going to, 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 to stop change. I want to read. Also, people should uh, camp at the polling station to make sure that the ballots are counted uh, on the place and results are posted that same day. Yes, we have been clear on this issue. Secure the polling station. That is how Zambia won the elections. They secured the polling stations. So, from a polling station, they start now. Munwa voter secure the polling station. Ata phonea komuruoko. My results are chungo post kwa picture. Obo wakanda. My results are chungo post kwa picture. Obo wakanda. My results are chungo post kwa picture. Obo wakanda. My results are ese epa every polling station are chungo post kwa. Obo watokanda my results you are. We are capturing these results using our phones. 
Achingo postwa, we take a photo. Achingo postwa, we take a photo. Achingo to postwa, we take a photo. Then we do our own tally. So we are saying, Kanzela na Kanzela, Adengari is responsible to make sure we have a B11 M results as a postwa. Kudrati Parku announced what my results. Constituents by constituents, word by word, in a gay in agreement. Cancel away, go away, go away, go away, go away, agree, pa marizauts ake, pa marizauts a MP wake, pa marizauts a president. Each and every word. Such, saka, we have a very uh, huge issue to, 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 to tackle here. Ya kato siyana ni mass structures, ya kato siyana ni ideology, ya kato siyana ni congress. Other people are talking about congress, we are talking about protecting the vote. Can you see the difference here? Jonathan Moyo is thinking about positions. Is thinking about Tinga Pinta say Pama positions which are changing. Kawuya is just to take care of the care of to the one who can change the tissue taka on the change. Those are who fung our man. That is their focus. Why is the president is focusing on? We are going to win these elections. How are we going to secure victory? How are we going to secure power? How are we going to walk into state house? That is what the president is planning and what is concerning the president. So what Jonathan Moyo said uh, does, not, does not work here. It doesn't work because we cannot uh, continue to, to, say, to, to, to rely or bang on, on somebody who is hiding in Kenya who fled uh, Zimbabwe for a very long time. So, um, do you think Sadiq will fight for us next year? They've been silent for the past elections. We, we cannot bank on Sadiq, but we can give them a benefit of a doubt. Why? In Malawi, we have uh, somebody who we believe can influence things. That is um, President Chakwera. He can be on the side of the people. I don't believe that he is pro Zanupia, President Chakwe. In uh, Zambia, we have um, a trusted lieutenant, Hakainde uh, Islam. In South Africa, we are not so sure. But uh, with the temperatures we, we are seeing right now, where the Zimbabweans are being chased away from South Africa, South Africa now understands that the solution to their own economic problems is to make sure that they fix what is happening in Zimbabwe. So South Africa has is, is taken a different stance because in the past, South Africa used to, to support the regime, used to do everything according to, 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 to what the regime wants. But right now they have changed things. We have seen Zimbabweans protesting on South African land we have seen South African police giving escort and security to the Zimbabweans who are protesting in South Africa. We have seen that. I have seen that twice right uh, in this year. CC members protesting in South Africa being led by the South African police. That cannot happen here in Zimbabwe, but it is happening here on the South African land, which means South Africa uh, has decided to take a new stance has decided to support the opposition in Zimbabwe, has decided to let the opposition mobilize in, Zim in South Africa. Which means if we let our people who are in South Africa to mobilize, and they all come to vote, Panet Kamashura, Panet Kamashura 2023, I am I, I, saying this from an informed position, Panet Kamashura, because the more people in South Africa are allowed to mobilize themselves, it means they are going to come back to Zimbabwe, the people in South Africa are rural areas. They vote in rural areas. They will go to the, their rural areas to cast their votes. And that is going to change a lot of things. That is going to influence a lot of things because with people who are well informed on the forefront, very poor and fearless people, people who have been leading from the front, you can actually see that. Um, they will follow up their brothers because so on the forefront. 
You see the people who are now mobilizing. These are the people who are trusted in families. They are now leading from the front. So South Africa, you, uh, we can give them uh, a benefit of a doubt to say they are likely going to assist Zimbabwe because they are already assisting CCC. They are allowing CCC to, to mobilize within uh, on their soil and they are giving them protection with, which we cannot get here in Zimbabwe. If you get to, to, to protest right now, today, uh, uh, quietly, peacefully, you get arrested. So if someone can be arrested for simply holding discussions as we are holding, what more for, 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 for protesting? So you can actually see that um, South Africa is going to support us because if they fail to support us, they are going to witness a bloodbath because Zimbabweans are no longer wanted in South Africa. So uh, I have mentioned um, um, Zambia, I have mentioned Malawi. These are key uh, uh, players in our politics. If we go to Tanzania, I'm not so sure about uh, that lady president, but um, uh, the, these key countries I mentioned, uh, Angola, in Angola, uh, definitely it's going to be difficult for them to support the regime we have in Harare. I don't believe Angola will have to support this regime. Namibia will follow South Africa. Namibia is going to follow what South Africa says because those bodies are friends. If Cyril Rapamposa is, is still the president, Namibia is going to take the stance of South Africa because those guys, they are bodies. Mozambique, definitely. Uh, there is a crisis in Mozambique already and Zimbabwe cannot bank on Mozambique at this moment because Mozambique is relying on the regime to, 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 to get help, military assistance. So. Uh, on Mozambique, we cannot talk much about Mozambique. But um, SADC has been affected by politics in Zimbabwe a lot, and I believe that uh, they are going to, 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 to work with us. Okay, uh, okay, Panzapanapa, no need for SADC. Citizens who are united are enough to win elections, but people just cut, cast the votes and go home to rest. Uh, not even protecting their votes. Also, many people don't register to vote. Yes. That is the reason why we have, we have decided to, 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 to come here, to say, let's center our campaign on voter registration. Akuna Muna Srimu Family Group, Omana. If we begin to send this message to our friends and relatives, send this message to your friends and relatives, make them see reasons why they must register to vote. Even if they tell you, Kutima elections are no birirwa, this time around, the situation is different. I mentioned, Kuti, we will need your voter registration slip. We will need your, your Kuti Ungewa voter for us to be able to defend the vote. Because the teacher ended to not pay voter register. Because when you vote, uno chekwa from the, from the uh, voter register. Uno chekwa kunzuwa voter yewewe. So we are going to use your voter registration slip and the voter register and your councillor, and your MP. So these are the people we are going to use to, to defend the vote. Saka, Iwewe, you have to be registered. You have to, to go and cast your vote. So that patine ngetaku ita ma petition zeni, patine ngetaku mira tishoroti tawina this election. United Nations would eventually come. They will ask, can you prove kutimaka wina an election? Yes, we can prove. Because the mimi mwenge maita your role, ma citizens aninga voter, ma citizens aninga kabata proof you could indeed they voted. So on that juncture, we need to vote. Isi su say ma citizens, we need to go and vote. At least kufanira kuziru anemo. So mobilize for voter registration. Mobilize for your relatives to go and vote. Mobilize kuti vano vanke very willing to defend their vote for polling station. That is what we want. We are so many. This time around, because we cannot afford another five years. Okay, in 1980, our elections were supervised by Britain. 2023 must have its elections be supervised by UN and EU. I hear you, but that is going to be very difficult. EU and UN can just come as observers. 
and we need to admit that fact. It is going to be very, very difficult for, for ZANU-PF to, to, to accept the elections to be supervised by UN and EU. And that needs a citizen to supervise the elections. Iwewe neni tisutine responsibility to supervise the election. How do we supervise election? Let's begin by important issues. Voter registration, I repeat. That is supervision number one. Make sure that the family is common way to aka register to vote. Make sure that the family is common access of these videos. This is the reason why digital reality, you have to like, you have to subscribe, you have to share. Because the more the channel grow, the more the people are uh, get opportunities to watch. The more we get more people uh, here live. We need to, to build a, in, in a community online where we are talking to people around the Zimbabwe from each and every constituency, they can uh, get information from what we are doing. This is the reason why we are establishing these platforms, to make sure that we, when we communicate, our communications reach each and every place. So you can actually see that, um, number one, re voter registration. Supervise your family to make sure that everybody and 18 years I can register to vote. That is supervision number one. Supervise your family to make sure that on the election day, Murukubuda Muri Baba Pamberi Mai Pamashure Vana Kumashure. You are going as a family to vote. In Nigeria, they have established a system where Muchechi Vana Zingwam Chechi because they are now registered to vote. Vanu varu kuzingwa pa shkoro because vanu register kuvota. Vanu varu kura mizwa kupinda pama shows. I have seen a musician who is saying if you are registered to vote, your PVC is your is your ticket to end a musho. Ma musicians varu kwenye kuno host pama shows. Evan waka register kuvota chete. Avana Maria varu kuda badaru. Only your voter registration slip in Nigeria, which means Nigeria is taking. Um, is, is the issue to do with the voting seriously. They are taking the issue to do with their future seriously. And in Zimbabwe, we need to employ such measures in our families. Make sure that you want to help you register to vote. You are my brother, yes. You want my assistance, yes. Are you registered to vote? Because you pay nothing for you to register to vote. You pay nothing. I'm working in, in diaspora, I'm working 24-7 to make money, but you don't want to just register to vote. So that Zimbabwe, you won't business, you are business, So what's stopping us from doing that? That is supervision number one. That is supervision number one. Supervision number two. Tatar about Kwenda ne Muria Kokuno Kokuno vote. Supervision number three is to stay at the polling station vicinity. Kushikama results panongo postwa iwewe wa kto tipa evidence. Ma results a chingonza apeza kuverengwa a postwa wa tipa evidence. Tichiri papo, you have to volunteer. Auna Maria Rudao Badar wewewe. As a citizen, you have to volunteer to be an election agent of CCC. Without expecting money, election agent with CCC. Be willing to pay money. Election agents, as you know, say, you get trained, you get abraced. Be willing, Iwewe as a citizen to invest in such an election which means you can volunteer anything to be an election agent you go with your own money with your own funds myself i have volunteered and i'm going to be an election agent and i don't expect ccc to pay me anything why i will buy my own text in my mind or notebook I will buy my own pen, I will buy my own food, I will have my own transport fund, uh, money, I will have everything for, for myself. I will go to the training on my own, I will fund everything. Why? I want change. 
I don't need money from CCC. I want change. Iwewe, for you to supervise this election, make that decision today. Make a decision to go to your rural area. Kuneva Novekuti, right now, as we speak, you are running your own businesses. As we are speaking right now, you, you, are, you, are, you are established. Why is it that you are not willing to relocate to your rural area? Why is, that, is it that you, are, you want to continue to live in Arare? Relocate to your rural area. Be on the ground with the, with the people. That is the kind of sacrifice we want. That is the kind of sacrifice we want. We, it is going to be painful, it is going to be hard, but we are going to reap results. For those in South Africa, for those in the, within Sadiq, let's sacrifice to come back and vote. So there are so many ways to, 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 to supervise these, these elections. And Papa Zunus and Amen Shena, Koma Newman, I believe that I've answered you. Uh, the UN and you, EU, what for? Uh, this is um, Ario uh, Marufo asking. So, and I have answered that issue. I don't believe that uh, UN and EU will have anything uh, positive in our elections. But morning, say, as citizens who suffered a lot, we should unite. Look what happened in Zambia in, on last election. That is Fatso Sama. Thank you very much, Mkoma Fatso. Um, that is a very important contribution. Yes. We need unity is going to, to, to bring change to the nation of Zimbabwe because as young people, we are, we are the majority. We constituted from the, from the last election, we constituted more than 60% of young people who registered to vote. And as young people, we are the majority, we have the say. This is the, the, the future we are talking about. We are talking about our future, the future of our children, which means as young people, let us unite. Let us begin to have these conversations everywhere we are. If, as young people, we agree to, 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 to protect each other, because ZANPF is a youth mashoma shoma no supporter. Yes, a youth mashoma shoma no supporter. These groupings, they are now weak. They are now weak. So, if you want to end up with a policy, you can get a better way politics. Tika is some temu yoyo, a kunam na nroer wa politics, a kunamunu, a no vundu ziruwa because of politics. That is the law we have established. Saga, in any basically from my village, honestly, from my village, in any, not our apache name, and I'm not doing what I'm not doing. Look, I'm all veterans in the Gamauza, that were Rufnega, Makayenda, Kundum Kanorwa. Yes, we supported you. For we were supporting you. But this is the time we have to decide on our destiny. Why do I say so? Murkufa one one. One one every day. Murku pera. How many are you, Vasara? Mawa veterans, Makanga Muripo, Makanga Ripon, 2008, my Vangan. Right now, Masaravangani, the Mimi Paku mobilized of my Tamay Masaravangan. And they couldn't answer. Reason being, they know very well that there are now a few people. So we cannot continue to have our dest destiny being controlled by a few people, a few elites who are just mobilizing our veterans and youth against us. So uh, I agree with you, Nkoma Fatso. We need to, 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 to unite. For only unity is going to, 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 to make us prevail. Okay, Shkanzi, they can create a neutral playground. I think that was um, in response to EU and, um, and, and, and UN. Yes, they can create a neutral uh, um, playground, but um, we, we know the regime we are dealing with. Okay, Shkanzi, Zambia is a different political environment and a democratic culture. Don't compare apples and oranges. Goma Erio Marufo, Hakainde Ishlema was arrested several times. Was arrested several times. We are talking about a political leader. Hakainde Ishlema was in prison for several months. I don't know, Kuti Tingapa, what kind of comparison to that. Vanu, the UMP Divairoa, Vanu, the Kwa Lungu. They were being beaten 
for several months. We have been following this election. It was a very difficult election. Where Hakainda Ishlema failed to campaign. Zirukuitwa Navanos on Chamisam Zimbabwe, Tuanotum Boenda Vachino, Vachino address Savan, even though Pachitica violence. Hakainda Ishlema Akazitadza, Muzambia. Just now, Mira Zaganak, Akazitadza, Muzambia, he couldn't campaign on the ground. He used this citizen issue unity at Tirukuta or Neza Yopano. He used the social media effectively. This is the reason why we are here. This is the reason why we are talking to each other to say, guys, here is the strategy. Let's mobilize on WhatsApp. Let's mobilize on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube. Those are the key issues, areas we need to mobilize from. Why do I say so? In any, I'm shocked each and every time when you find Bamuru Zeva Muno, Vapana, Vajiburita, Mamma, videos, Amwe, a good to you, no more Satoy Wona, Vapana, I think I told you they will come and ask you about a, a, a certain political video and ask you for your opinion. That is very important. That is what is very important. Message is Rukushika Kumamisha. Akuna musha usina WhatsApp, phone ni WhatsApp right now. Akuna musha usina, usina, usina unemuna asina ujuna in a group. Saka sisu, bi iti mgroup rezanu, ariku pinda ma video, SCC, sinda, ndriku maona, bano, jaya jaya wa jitia urodi, madara, jitia urodi, wapana imi makaita say, how are you infiltrating our, our, our groups? Because tilkungu wana nonzi nzi zenyu ma group seedu. Eza anu jayo jayo wa rukuma misho. Aruku chema nesu madara wete wapana imimi uza muruku ita right. They are crying. Vano kuma misho kuma dara. Ma o veterans. They are crying. Kuta hawa kuma na the level, this level of infiltration is so high. Because me idziriku pinda ma group wawo message wano ngwona shkwa ya kandwa wodzinga munu mangwana wona shkwa ingwe ya kandwa video mangwana ingwe shkwa ya kandwa saka muno dzinga ka munu yese munga sara musina wano ma groups they have come to terms with that which means is this our, our, our political issue in Zambia we are not different haka ndi ichilema never campaigned he was attacked left right and center and uh, he was arrested he was imprisoned so it's not news. Ganzapana Pa citizens um, cannot supervise the results. We have been winning all elections since 1999 referenda. KG1V um, uh, KG decides in 2008-9, to it took 30 days to bring the results. I understand what you are saying, Mukoma Newman Chino, but I think I will need to repeat this. When I say citizens should supervise this election, I am saying it on authority because people need to understand this strategy. Number one, you supervise your family. I don't believe that anybody can dispute or disagree with me. By making sure that every family member is registered to vote, that is supervision number one. You are supervising for the elections. Making sure that you no cast a vote that is supervision number one. We now have the people. Because when you are fighting a war, you need to have ammunition. You don't just go to fight a war without guns, without bullets. You mobilize for guns and bullets. That is number one. That is a war strategy number one. And our guns and bullets, if voter registration slip, that is, that is going to be our guns and bullets. And we mobilize our family to go and vote on day, on the voting day. Which means the Baba Muripamberi, Imi Baba Vemusha, Muripamberi cannot mkoma, Muripamberi, and the siblings cannot the family and you mashure. Which means that is kuenda kuno vote at chiti papinda joni popinda the kwa tumbura yoko kuno fanat papinda baba kopinda mai ne line redu. Umwene umu achi zaparu kuno votera. Tiri kuno vota inini mkazu wangu mwana wangu mningina wangu mai wangu baba wangu vachindi tera. That is how we are going to vote. That is supervision number two. Because that is going to help us to know kuti uyo aru kuno votera papi uyo aru kuno votera papi tirike seere. If you can mobilize wano kuno register kuvota, 
if you can mobilize vanu kuenda ne we kuno vota it means they are going to vote for change because tatambura zvakafanana vanu whether we zanbf kana whether we 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 cc tatambura zvakafanana which means we are now in agreement within the families kutaiwa we need change super vision number 3 at is kubva pa polling station kusvikira ma results a anaunzwa that is number 3 which means achingo anaunzwa we now have the results ma phone akushanda ku capture evidence ye ma results a anaunzwa but asati anaunzwa ma results acho iwe we we ga as an individual make sure kuti you volunteer to be part of the po- of the uh, polling agents pa polling station pako that is how we are going to 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 begin this revolution that is the foundation the fundamentals of this revolution patiri kunotangira so i believe that i have answered you mkoma uh, chinyo on, on on that note so and i'm still not convinced with what you are saying say the same uh, optis, uh, optimism is the same you had in 2018 violence has already uh, begun it will escalate next year uh, personally in 2018 is different to what i see what i saw in 2018 is different to what i see right now it is different nelson chamisa himself has changed if you haven't observed the nelson chamisa of 2018 is the, is not the nelson chamisa of 2023 observe nelson chamisa when he is speaking In 2023 I used to disagree with Nelson Chamisa on each and every statement I would pick a lot of mistakes in his statements but in that is in 2018 but right now as he addresses I am seeing a mature person a statesman who is speaking I'm seeing a president who is speaking moreover uh I am guided by 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 the times I had I am guided by the times I had and times has changed. No so Jamisa is coming uh, as the president of Zimbabwe. Nobody is going to stop that. Nobody is going to stop that. So this issue of rallying behind No so Jamisa um does not base on what happened in 2018 because in 2018 he was popular but the MPs were not popular. In this time around the course has changed that is the reason why he said hakuna ma structures shandai pa ground he was clear advocate no chamisa said no structures work pa ground why vakataura vachiti no structures shandai pa ground vakaitira kubvisa if you kunze ndini ndini ne yes izvo zvizvi inini ku hold kwangu constituents kwangu we are not working based on instructions from anybody we are working for change we are just working kuti vamana ga tweta sei kuti tiwane change ndo zviri kuti mutsa ma send digital road ngatendei life izvo i am not being supervised by anybody i have never met no son jamisa ana namba yangu ana namba yake i have never spoken to him i am speaking this on authority because i have been observing him i have been following him and i know the developments the critical within the ccc because i'm always researching about the stance yeva kuru kuti vakuti chi and ndotarisa the, the political temperature iri pa ground kwandiri ndoona kuti yes zvinhu zviri kufambidzana the agenda yeva kuru nezviri pa ground zviri kufambidzana vari kunzwisisa zviri kuitika pa ground he is aware of what is happening on the ground So if he is aware of what is happening on the ground in nini kunzvimbo kwangu kwandino gara ine if he is aware ari kumudza ndiyana ndiyana ari kudza president chamisa zviri kuitika kunzvimbo yandino gara ine ndiyana ari kuvaudza which means the issue to do with structures has been sorted kana vari kuona information yekwandiri yekwandiri nini zvinhu zviri kuitika kwandiri ndichito zviona kuti zvinhu zviri kuitika kana vane information yacho vachi address anyaya dzodzo that should me, g- give me trust in him could this person is knowing what is doing any information 100% uh, first hand information is zvinhu zviri kuti which means he is in control so that issue you must be convinced because the nelson chamisa of 2018 is different to the nelson chamisa of 2023 because right now we are working with a different cadre 
Zviri kunzi na president shanda mu constituents wako muwadi mako Hakuna ma structures harukuya Endi kana nguwaya ma elections ya shika President wano nguwaya mnjimbo Warume mimi mamchi shanda ni wano Haruku zviti CCC yes Tati shanda nao Choisa ani It is you who is going to decide Kuti torotito Ndiyeng haruku yenda kuna MP wedu Kwa nguwari ndi haruku yenda kanzela wedu It is you so it is not going to be the president who is going to impose anybody. It is you who is going to say we want Ningi Kuno Kwa Kati Kwa Bukururu. And you can never defeat Ivan Wakadaru. You can never defeat Ivan Wanengi Zuchimi. Chiningi Chetangira Kuwa. Okay, Anzi Panapa, uh, Zek should be monitored during the vote counting. Yes, this is the reason why I was saying you have to volunteer. Because the issue is that the reason why we fail to, to, to field the election agents is because you need to pay um, that election agent $10. If not $10 or $20, I'm not so sure. I think it's $10. You need to buy him food. You need to buy him my notebooks, my pen. You need to provide a transport for him. And this is the reason why we are saying, Iweweka sacrifice Zaka Kwita election agent. Why can't you sacrifice? Let's sacrifice to be election agents. If we just sacrifice to be election agents, that is enough for us. That is very, very important for us. Just to be an election agent and everything. We'll, you will see that uh, the issue to do with um, monitoring Zek, because you know what needs to be done. You want change the same way I want change, the same way Advocate Nelson Jamisa want change which means we are working on a consensus. And by, by coming on your own, you have protected the team rezek, rekudao change yachu. So, around election time, internet is at Zimwa. Uh, that is how you pay for it. Internet is at Zimwa, but basa. They can switch off internet, they can do whatever they want. My text message adds in, my text message and Ngariko. But um, just for distribution of important information, internet, no one either. There's no need for them to, 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 to switch off internet because people. So basically, they will switch off internet probably after the elections because they will need the same internet. In, in different areas, they need the same internet. So prior to the elections, they are not going to, to switch off internet. They can switch off after the elections. But is this what you can go to my elections? I think we have to capture evidence. Yeah, do you have some pakanaka? So I could have that evidence. Yeah, to switch off our and it takes just a second for for a photo to reach uh, America from Zimbabwe. Just a second. Just a second, the photo in Iraq was Zimbabwe, Iraq, America. So uh, you, that that one is sorted. Okay. So um, I'm Okay. Uh, Zek is captured, fellow Zimbabweans. Zek is captured. The top of Zek is captured. The top brass is captured. But uh, not kukuza kwe soko. Okay. And they will beat those who camp at polling stations. How are they going to beat those who camp at polling stations? Because remember, we have 35,000 soldiers in the, in the military. Plus or minus 35,000 soldiers in the police. And uh, the issue is those soldiers they cannot be equally distributed. Zimbabwe yes, at every polling station, as it, it's not going to be possible to distribute them equally at each and every polling station. Why? If you distribute them by every polling station, it means nika ino sara isina defense. It means kuma 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 barracks kuno sara kusina a direct command. Anything can happen. That situation, akuna military ino fayaka deploya maso jayo essay. Munika kuti endai pa polling station yega yega. Afuna military no fire kaita juzu. Why? They don't know what they will end up doing. Because mungatari one cannot worry two. You cannot control how they think or how they behave. So that is not going to happen. Which means akuna papa polling stations pedu will not see soldiers. Right. Police 
our police is not even enough. So we have one or two police officers for police station in Gaega. One or two officers. And how are they going to use those two officers for to change Kurwala for polling station? So I said to you, Kuti, Mimi, we can end up with Shakwenyi, Mimi. We can form an alliance. We can form a team of young people with the common idea. Madara, my old veterans, we cannot provide any say. If you are united, we cannot provide. Zaka, two thousand and eighty eight, Zaka, Zaka, itika because people were not united. But if we get united right now, because we are the majority. We are the majority. So how are they going to beat us? That is not going to happen. Okay, in Dubuzi Dubez, we Zimbabweans um, are cowards because now we are busy um, doing strike. <laughs> okay, um, Dubuzi, can you please elaborate? If you are here, can you please elaborate? So Team Zimbabwe, uh, we need to, 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 to go to the end of this show. Kindly hit the subscribe button. Subscribe so that you don't miss out each and every time we go live. So subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Also, like, like, like. The more you like, the more these videos are distributed. So, uh, okay. And I agree with my Zimbabweans, we are cowards. Okay, Marufo. Uh, my only fear is that uh, they will try to delete uh, Nelson, if you know what I mean. Okay, I understand you, Ariel, but only gives God gives lies on God take life. So what you need to know is that Marika Navakaisa Zinu program Yavo Kutino Sunchamisa is going to lead Zimbabwe. Even Vanu Vakai Zakumus Misa Zagaita say they cannot stop that change. The reason why you are you are motivated to come here to, to, to speak about change is because you, there is a a, a conviction within you that we need change. And that same conviction, and God is going to use that conviction to, to tell people, you that confidence is the man. Confidence to say, is the way to go. And uh, from that, we are going to see a lot of people supporting Nelson Chamisa and voting for Nelson Chamisa. So, okay, Zuganza, God is in control. Citizens shall prevail come 2023. I uh, agree with Anthony Tonga uh, God is in control indeed. And uh, we are going to prevail. I feel it. In any, I feel it, Tim Zimbabwe. I feel it. The reason why I come here without fear or without any favor is because I feel could change is coming and God is going to prevail. So people like, uh, like Professor Jonathan Moy, I agree uh, with Professor Jonathan Moyo only on being citizens of Zimbabwe. But politically, I don't agree with him. Ideologically, I don't agree with him. Because when he was in Zanu PF, we all know that he was leading a terror group. He was leading a lot of um, uh, things which were not so good for the people of Zimbabwe. So we cannot trust or believe in people like uh, Jonathan Moy. We need to be strong so that we are going to win and lead this country. We need next generation to have better life. Zanu ruled this country 42 years, but only for, uh, for destroying and um, corrupting. Yes, I agree with you. It is going to take our generation to, 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 to re rescue Zimbabwe. Remember, there is a professor from... Uh, uh, the late Joshua Ngomo, he said, Zimbabwe shall not die. The young shall save it. And who are the young? It is you. It is me. The reason why I have seen young people rising or demanding um, change in Zimbabwe, I've never seen young people demanding change like that. I have never seen them. So, vanu, varuku, varuku furiru, vachu, 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 zanu, pf, ichunga, ni zatu, vanu, tu, vanu, tu, ruku, vanu, mu, provin, zanu, tu, ravanu, from each and every district, vonu, vanu, unga, ni zavoti, president, vanu, vani, rali, yaka, penga. Varumega, varume, varumega, vana, vachada, zuni, zi, zanesu. Ini, ndriku, musha, zuzu, kwenye, kwa, 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 misangano, yaka, siyana, siyana, president, wajinsu, wawu, ya, wawu, ya, vanu, vanga, vakango, zara, kumusha, wako, utaengu, zwa, yati, kwa, buda, vanu, four, five, wa, buda, Vaenda kumsangano vaturu. And do ma zanpi of day adzaju. And then you ye kutimashingwe yanga yaka zara yanga yaka shiba. President varu vabasa. 
Varu wabasari piko isusu tia nchingori kuru zeva Tina kuenda vanu wasukere wa kirima minde ya wajitawo Rata tidi standards na basa tine nzara So uh, pa, If you have a vision for next generation Be strong and no, 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 not to fear Let's unite like what happened to Zambia Yes, I agree with you Because that is the only way we are going to 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 win. I don't know if we are going to win. I don't know if we are going to win. I don't know if we are Polling agent must be selected wisely. Otherwise, they might be bribed by Zanu PF at polling station. So this is the reason why I said, can a polling agent that can be a person who is a person who is a person who is I don't need the money as Zanu PF. Why? I want change because I want to run a successful business. I want to easily get a license to have my own TV, um, television um, programs. I want to venture into media, but you cannot get a, a TV license in Zimbabwe at this moment. Is it difficult? It will take you years for you to get a TV license. You, it, ta you, it will take you to go and the lobby to own a TV license. And I'm not going to Trevor Nube. Akai Shire TV license. Trevor Nube, Akai Shire TV license. Trevor Nube, JJ. Akai Shire. Can I not Trevor Nube influence the way I economy? Like Shire my TV licenses. What about us? It means this is to know that it's not one. So I want a working Zimbabwe. I can register a company online. I can pay my taxes and update my tax records online. I can. Uh, I, I don't need to travel to Harare for anything. I can register. Um, I can uh, open a broadcasting company uh, on Wheel. Personal on the Misa, personal on the Manikida, personal on the Sinabasa. I can have land in my own country in the Chirima at Chirara Misanika. So you will see that. Is uh, also. Uh, Ndikayenda inini kuna ita polling agent. Pandru kuna ita polling agent, do you think it could be done before brave me? If we have people with the same mindset, we want to do business in Zimbabwe, but ZANPF is preventing us. We want to run mines, but ZANPF is preventing us. Do you think you are never with the mentality you are to To be honest with you, inini and inini chekuita ne 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 so I'm not going to, to, to tolerate anything from ZANPF. So you can say, one soldier is enough, Madara. To notice that, is, that is not true. One soldier is not enough because when, when soldiers are scattered around the country, we have 35,000 soldiers. 35,000 uh, soldiers uh, do the math. We have over 2,000 polling stations in Zimbabwe. Over 2,000 polling stations in Zimbabwe. Uh, ne, 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 35,000 my soldiers. Tikama distributor, masoja S, papa, pa, every polling station, masoja yo, 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 Thirty-five thousand uh, divided by two hundred and ten. That is one hundred and sixty-six soldiers per constituents. Yega yega. And tika tora tika isama soldier one hundred and sixty-six in constituents. Yega yega. What will the, 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 the command formation be like? It means uh, uh, if we are to consider we are ku United Nations mission, we are ku SADC mission, we are going African Union mission, we are going from 35,000. We can remove 5,000 with different missions in other countries. Let's remove our Kuchengeteza, our state house, our Kuchichi, our security Wakuru. Let's remove them. Chocho Sarano Angani. Kuma barracks kwa chua jita yutu kusare kusinavala. Let's remove them. Chua uh, sarane wangani. So how many soldiers are enough to, to, to distribute by every polling station? That is not going to happen. Because we have, uh, if we have around 2,000 wards, more than 2,000 wards in Zimbabwe, 
what about polling stations because papa what yega yega um tirukuita ma polling stations are one so you see that it, 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 it is not going to to, to work ma soja atori pacho atokwani ku distribute one soldier by every polling station ala kwani so that is not going to work that is going not going to 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 to, to happen so and i don't believe that our soldiers are crazy to an extent they could they will be deployed to go to the polling station to nurambidzwa no vote which is a constitutional right so and the kupedza nyaya every polling agent must have a gun uh, that is not um, that is not a solution we don't need guns we just need one who is well informed who is zvazva vari kuita you must know what you are going there for you must know kuti wewe zvawaenda pa polling station nyairi ponde ku defend a vote yako and to, to gather the necessary evidence is to make sure vanhu vari ku vote say the voting pattern to make sure that people are not intimidated and the polling agents need our support is so seven because these stages are data voter so polling agent wedi anenge achiwo achiona with voter counting inenge chifamba say so kanze your assumptions are baseless where are the statistics those numbers i don't know we, the, the the issues you are saying that um, go and and, and find kuti zimbabwe ne masoja mangani and go and find kuti vari ku vari ku mamissions vangani and uh, this is not baseless it's about researching go and find vari ku un mission vangani vari ku au mission vangani vari ku sadc mission vangani go and check for yourselves go and check kuti how many barracks we have in zimbabwe that does not need to be tinge tichibo taura dzimwe ningi panapo iwewe go just just um, just just make your 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 researches so we come here after we have researched and we have looked at various issues with zenge dzichitorwa nevanhu and rule the reason why we come here is to make sure that we inform each other about the facts the fact is that zimbabwe does have plus or minus 35000 soldiers and those soldiers Uh, some of them were human missions like Asiana Asiana that is AU UN and SADC missions and some of them were going to be VIP protection muruti ku visa from from that number some of them will be protecting my mama bases my amaris and they cannot leave my amaris akadar so the issue my soldiers they work with command so when they work with command kana soldier ka uyari wani pa pa polling station ega ega tika deploy soldier wani anenga chishanda ne command yani and how are they going to be working with on command it means they are going to do what they want because masoja operate vari 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 one one they operate in groups they can operate maybe in pairs not ari one saka you cannot ever see masoja to operate ari one one they go in groups because there is something which is uh, which is very important to understand with kana kabuda ari one eh vese vakapfurwa mukavabudisa vari one one mukavaisa pa pa polling station ni paka unge pane umwe munhu muvenga nepfuti pa every polling station vakapfurwa vese nyika inosara ika sina masoja saka that doesn't need any statistics that need logic kuti if you deploy musoja pa polling station ega ega musoja ye akatorerwa pfuti munosara munei akachengetedza nyika can you answer you ought to you have deployed the soldier one pa polling station ega ega and if that soldier is disarmed or if he is disarmed mimi munosara munei anenga akachengetedza nyika so you will see that um, they will never dare do such a thing and the only thing is to have um, a, a united citizen um Lazarus my brain good morning mamuka sema mamuka sema mamuka sema koma so we we were here we were basically discussing about the issue of Jonathan Moyo so i'm going to put the statement on the scrolling bar for the last uh, time uh, so that you understand zvanga zvataurwa na Jonathan Moyo Jonathan Moyo iye ari kutaura ya chiti e new party yakafongwa muna January haina um haina any link to any political party haina ma structures haina constitution haina anything haina congress so these are the issues that i talk to think it as about this discussion and um, when he said that uh, i i'm now putting the response here advocate mahere soon after this scrolling message so you can um, uh, as a person who fled zimbabwe in november 2017 in fear with no plan to challenge the regime 
but to hide uh, without a clue on when he had ever come back with no courage to stand up to dictatorship. How can or on what basis does Prof. Letcher us on anything? That is a very important question. So <clears throat> that is the question which Advocate Father Emire asked the Professor Jonathan Moyo. So the issue is that uh, we are fighting for ideas. Every, every, everybody believes that he knows, especially our learned friends, they believe that uh, being a professor uh, makes you somebody who knows above everybody. But there are issues we know, which uh, my professors don't even know. There are issues you know, which I don't know, which means I am not important more than everybody. That is the reason why I take comments here and we try to, to, to take my ideas. This is the reason why we open this platform to say, if you want to contribute, you are free to come here and give your own contributions because we know and understand that we don't know everything. So professor is trying to, to be, become a champion. And we were saying, it is not true. Professor Jonathan Moyo is, is in hiding and he cannot put the issue of structures to say the structures are going to determine how the elections are going to be influenced because we are going to win these elections. But the issue is how are we going to state house? That is the issue. And those are the issues we are dealing with. Those are the issues the leadership has been dealing with for a very long time. Uh, both of Shavano, uh, watching from Cape Town, thanks Ronnie for the platform. Thank you, my brother. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, in life, I respect you, Mkuma Poto. You are one of the um, people who was a role model in our lives. So sometimes when we look up to people, we look up to people like you, Mkuma Poto, because we know very well that um, we have leaders, our uh, guidance, and everything. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mkuma Poto Shavano, for tuning in. Um, team Cape Town, Team South Africa, Team UK, uh, Team Africa, Team Zimbabwe. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, the change is coming. That, that is the reason why you are, you are seeing us coming here live, taking hours. Uh, we are doing this for, for, for free. We are not getting anything from this. We are sacrificing time at Nogo Nongit Kitaj Mujin to come here live and talk to the people because we want change. We want to be able to run our media houses. We want to be able to, to, to own TV, television stations. We want to be, all, be able to, to have our own minds. My China and our Uyos are from my mind. My little minds are being given to the Chinese. What are, what are, what are Zimbabweans benefiting from? Nothing. So, each and every organization, and we have to defend our future. That is the reason why we are coming here. It's because we want to build a, a better Zimbabwe. We have ideas. We don't have leadership. So, Tim Zimbabwe, thank you very much for, for tuning in. I think this is... Um... Yes, uh, we now have an hour, 23 minutes, but you can still give us your, 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 your thoughts. The, the issue you touch now, I will repeat for the sake of those who, who came late. Jonathan Moyo said, party agaita se CCC agaita nga wana genuara, wana ma structures, wana constitution, wana uh, congress, ya watuaita. How are they going to win an election? And we, we said, it's issue, according to Advocate Father Emire, there is a message which is scrolling on the screen. Check the message which is scrolling on the bottom on the screen. That is the response ya kapiwa na Advocate Father Emire. She blasted Professor Jonathan Moyo and said, you are a teaser, you are not a plan. And for years, you have been in hiding. You are not even willing to come back to Zimbabwe. So how can you lecture us on anything when you are not on the ground? And we are waking, we are on the ground. So how can somebody who is in hiding lecture to those who are on the ground? So I went on to elaborate issues to do with structures and said, we don't need structures at this moment. We want to win elections. We want to secure elections. Van Varguda change. And Van Chavarkuda is to make sure uh, to secure our vote. And we have been exploring how 
we can basically um, uh, win that change. Thank you very much. I have been explaining. We are about to go to an end. If you just want to add your voice for a few minutes, there is a link in the description box. Check in the description box. There is a link. You can come live here. Talk about an opportunity to explain or to elaborate on anything you feel that it is very important. So uh, this platform is open to everybody. You can come here. You can use our WhatsApp number. Let me put the WhatsApp number so that those who want to, 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 to come here live, you can use uh, that WhatsApp number. There is a WhatsApp number which is scrolling down um, there. Use that WhatsApp number to request uh, for a platform and we'll give you a, a platform. We'll give you um, time to come here and talk to the people of Zimbabwe. So in Inan and Disease, uh, there are a lot of areas that you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, explain better than what I do. So you are free to come, you are free to come and address my issues. I don't feel like I under to address. But if you want a debate, you are free to come here. It point to my debates. This is the people's platform every time and any time we're open and my debates are because um, this is the people's platform. You don't pay anything to come here live. You just come away away. Just buy your own data. You join Toro Aga debate rush. Uh, you my points up and store my points up. At the end of the day, we must have a conclusion. Which in the GP is not going to change in the nation of Zimbabwe. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Team Zimbabwe. Please not like it. Please not not comment day. Please not share it. subscribe That is very important. So on this platform, I said earlier, this is the platform where we are going to have live programs. We have another um, uh, YouTube channel, Yakanzi ABT and News. We are still working on the issues to do with um, our studio. There are a few issues we need to fix uh, in terms of our studio. We are going to post short clips on that platform. That in get short nuggets. We come with a story in a evidence, in a proper presentation. It will be short, less than five minutes videos. We have that platform, Yakanzi ABT and News. A B T N news. Uh, in a logo green, Kaganzi A B T N Kumsoro. Um, if you find that platform, go and, uh, and and subscribe on that platform. So um, go and subscribe on that platform so that Rwanda uh, can get access to that platform because through the cover twenty four seven to update about what is really happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. So we are still acquiring some equipment because mm -hmm. the challenges, we split it. We, 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 we once had Mukunda Africa TV. We split it. Some of the things that Shanda, some people took some uh, gadgets that and so forth because we were disagreeing on the actual agenda yet no fun get T9. So we are trying to mobilizing for to mobilize for new resources. We are trying to, to mobilize for new gadgets to put in place everything so that we, we, we resume our normal um, production activities with quality content ETC. So you have to support us at ABTN News, go and subscribe on that platform. Uh, there are a few videos there. You can identify them because I am the one who is on those videos. Do you think the government you know, owns a change here? Because what we want is change. Government Atina is going to, to, to bring change. President Nusun Chamisa is going to bring change. We are going to bring change. It is you and me who are going to bring change. What we need to do is to support the vision of Advocate Nusun Chamisa. Put your effort in any field that you feel good, you, you can put your effort to, 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 to support that change. Uh, okay, and I mean without structures. Right, I, I think we, we exhausted issues, that issue must structures, um, uh, so I'm going to be brief on it. Uh, maybe at a later stage you can, you can uh, replay this video so that you, you, you get to understand where we were coming from and where we are going. We are saying mass structures are good, but because the moment I get into the structures, I'm now targeted with ZANU-PF directly. 
And I asked the question, Yekute, inini kwandiri inini, kwandiri. I don't speak with advocate no son Chamisa directly. But information ni kwandiri inini, hirikuitika kwandiri kumisha kwangu. Advocate no son Chamisa wane information ni yo. The question is, who is telling advocate no son Chamisa about what is happening in my area? I get surprised to hear President Nelson Jamisa speaking about what is in, happening in Bukururu, Kumsha Kwang. And who is telling him? That answer will tell you that the issue of mass structures does not have any value at this moment because he is getting information in Yavarkuda. He is getting mobilization of people in Yavarkuda. Because ZANPF admitted, we, 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 we had an issue ya 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 taka wea na yopana apa yema ZANPF youth. Vaka konfema iwo kutitiriku bunzwa kutimunei. Iwo varku mamisha. Varku bunzwa naniku mamisha by CCC people variko. So how can you tell us that the issue of structures? When ZANPF is feeling kuti CCC ya wea watu wote varku buti bunza ma villages kutimunei. Kembo Mohadi came out and say, Kutiti wuhine tinufana ukie tatu mobilize, masabu kwa mobilize wa. Why? They very, know very well kuti CCC is everywhere. So, uh, to answer you shortly, uh, there is no evidence that uh, uh, CCC is going to, 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 to win because of structures. Why? Nyai riponde entitlement. Izo zizi nini? Ndika pinda pama structures e CCC. Ndika nzindinda ya mutungamiri. My aim will be to be the MP or to be the councillor. I will begin kuvarira vangwe vanu, vari pasi pangu. To an extent ya kuta wafe waka wane kwa ndinde njiwa varira njiwa tsimbirira. Right? The more ya andere kutsimbirira vanu ivavo, eh, the more I am killing the party. That is the reason why President Nusun Jamisa said Shandai Makadaro. The reason why he's saying Shandai Makadaro is to, 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 to create an environment where Munuwese is equal. We are all equal. We are all working to bring change. So my citizens, man, we will come and say, President, is this super Kushanda Katanga Tichita Kuesau? Tawana Ningi, Ariam Nanoguna Kuita, MP Wedu, Ningi, and Dianoguna at a Kanzela Wedu. And that person is going to win because Arku Vakuvan, Arku Duanevan, and Nanga Chandanevan Jakanaka. It's different from imposing monarim mass structures, manje like Aningari Kuma structures, oh, we are ones, Chakupa Imunu. And that will be going against the Mavan, Vangavan Munu. So I believe that I have answered uh, in brief to that. Uh, so, Tim Zimbabwe, thank you very much for, 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 for coming here. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will continue to update you about our next uh, um, important issues. We have a lot of issues to address, and um, we are definitely going to address those issues um, live here on Africa and Beyond Television Network. So we are going to bring a lot of issues. Just hit the, the notification bell so that partnering get up with um, any other uh, George Grand Muguin says, Thank you. Uh, thank you, George. I believe that you have understood. So, we have um, these discussions each and every time. So, I believe that a lot of issues in the Sarira we will be able to explore. If you want to be part of this platform, there is a name, number which is, um, uh, which is appearing um, on the screen. Okay, uh, Markley TV, I believe that uh, if, you, if, if, if possible, you need to, 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 to come on, live, on a live program so that we ask uh, each other questions directly. You, you need to come on a live program. Uh, maybe we'll arrange, you, if, if you are comfortable, you can input the number on the screen for, 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 a, live, um, for a live update. Then we, 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 we can come and we can have a proper debate or a discussion regarding that, that, that matter. Because I have never seen structures a winning an election because in 2018 election uh, 2008 Morgan Changrai won he had structures did he assume power no why panga pasina my mechanisms to defend the vote people will go and vote not based on structures but based on the people who are presented to them people will go and vote 
But after voting, how are we going to, to defend the vote is what is very important. How are we going to secure the vote is what is important. So I believe that I've answered in um, till we meet again in other episodes and till we meet again in other programs. Much, much, much love. I love you all. Team Ipa Zimbabwe. That's in other programs. Please watch out for other um, episodes today.